This is your Alamo Sports Tiger Athlete of the Week Spotlight, brought to you by the Winner Circle. This week's athlete is Braden Money of Tiger Tennis. Guys are coming down to it. So you got one district duel left. You got the district tournament left. And most importantly, you've also got state coming up here in a few right. weeks, too. How do you feel like uh, you've played this season? This season, I mean, I've had my rough patches, either mentally or just like with my game going through matches. But really, I feel like overall, I've been able to just really work through that and just either pick apart my opponent with what's working. Like, there's some games where I wasn't really trusting my ground stroke, which I should have still hit it. But even in not doing that, I was still able to fight through it and get the win. Overall, I mean, really good compared to last year, mentally especially. But I can't wait to see what I can do even next year my senior year. Yeah. And you guys, uh, you know, not only on the single side, but the double side, you've had a lot of success this season, haven't you? Right. So in the Carlsbad tournament, we got to play against two Albuquerque Academy doubles teams, top in the state. We beat one of them. Their number one doubles kind of handed it to us a little <laughs> bit. But I mean, just like at state, like their whole team wins state probably for like the past 18 years in a row. So just getting to play with kids like that before state is huge for us because whether we go singles, doubles, or even as a team, like we need to be able to hit with them and hang with them as a whole team. And just being able to see that and be able to play against that early, really, I think is going to help us if we get to go to state. What age did you start picking up tennis? Uh, have you been going at it for a while now? A couple years. So I started playing for the high school eighth grade year, but I played a little bit literally like once a year before that. At my dad's like work retreats in Albuquerque. And like we literally would go and hit for like one day. Like that was my only experience. That was the only tennis that you had. Yeah. Right? Like for the whole year. And half the time I think I was trying to hit over the fence because I'm like, oh, I can hit it so hard. <laughs> But then I never want to go get him. But it's been cool to see, I mean, just from a personal standpoint, how much I've gotten to know the game, like how I get to pick apart opponents now, and just the whole mental and like thinking aspect of it. It's really cool to see how I've gotten to change that over time. Summer plans? I mean, obviously you're going to be working on uh, tennis camps and things like that. So I got to go visit some colleges over spring break. I got to go visit Howard Payne, Dallas Baptist, and Shriner. All three of those were amazing visits, and I was really happy I got to go do that. So the summer I'll, I'll go visit some more. Or maybe some backup visits or just see where my schedule opens up. Uh, definitely playing a lot of tournaments, trying to get my UTR rating up and just trying to get my name out there. So any UTR tournaments, going to a lot of showcase camps probably and just going to visit colleges in person just to be like, hey, I'm here. I want to play for you. Like, give me a shot kind of a thing. So. It's, it's definitely better when they've got a face and they remember meeting that person. I'm right, sure, so. right. For sure. Because then, I mean... Uh, Coach Hedick from Howard Payne. I met him over in a showcase camp in Texas, and he got to know me. I got to know him, and he actually goes and hangs out in Rio Doso. So, like, we had a really cool like community bonding aspect from that, like really close. And it was cool just how much we could bond together, I guess, even just from a conversation over a hamburger, like during lunch. Like it was, it was really cool. Well, we hope you have uh, fun the rest of this season and we look forward to seeing uh, what we'll have, what we'll see for in your senior year. And uh, congratulations on being athlete of the week. Thank you. All right.